What's up everyone? I'm your female Taku and I'm here to review volume four of A Silent Voice. A very, very entertaining volume, oh my goodness. The volume can be separated into two parts basically. The first part being about Ishida and friendship, while the second half is with Yuzuru and her granny. And oh my goodness, that granny man. I'll get into that later on. But with the first half, Ishida and Shoko go over to the amusement park with a bunch of other people as well. Tomohiro, Yuzuru, Naoka, which is really annoying, this other guy, I forgot his name, and Miyoko and Miki. They all go over to the amusement park and Ishida, he experiences fun with friends for like the first time in a really long time. That really got to me, man. Cause you know, a lot of you guys know, I, I'm, my senior year hasn't exactly been the best when it comes to, you know, hanging out with friends and stuff. I'm always here making the videos, which is fun. It's fun making the videos here and stuff, but I never really go out to hang out with others. So when I saw Ishida being happy, finally hanging out with other people, laughing with others, that brought a huge smile to my face. I was like, you go, man. You go enjoy that. Have fun. Now, I love that scene so much, man. But then, Naoka, she, she's trying so hard to get along with Ishida. She makes a stupid apology to Shoko and Ishida is just all like, no, that was a fake apology. Like, you, you, gotta, you gotta be sincere. So then she's like, fine, I'll be sincere. So then she goes with Shoko over to the Ferris wheel and ends up smacking her. And I got so mad. I got so mad with Naoka. I mean, we end up finding out the reason why Naoka did that. But smacking her was way too much. I don't even think she should have yelled at her. Yelling at her wasn't right either. Naoka didn't like how weak Shoko was. Shoko, she said that she was mad at herself, that she hated herself, but she still kept on smiling and Naoka hated that. Another interesting thing is that Ishida saw one of his old friends, which I knew that was gonna happen. I mentioned this either, it was either the volume two review or the volume three review, most like the volume three review. I said that it's probably gonna happen where Ishida is going to meet his old friends and he did one of them was working over at the amusement park and Naoka thought it would be a great idea if they got it back on together like Naoka did with Miyoko and Naoka and Miyoko are friends and how that worked out Miyoko said that yeah Naoka can be scary but when you get to know her and I'm just it, and I'm just all like Miyoko no 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 no, Naoka's a bad person. Miyoko is a great person. Naoka is a bad person. Just stay, stay away from Naoka. I hate her so much. I'm going to continue to hate this person because oh, she just, her methods, just everything about her I hate. <laughs> everything. Anyway, the second half of the volume was really touching because we go with Yuzuru and how Yuzuru feels about her mother. As we all know, the mother, she uh, looks at Shoko as a nuisance, always complains, never says anything positive. And then the granny comes over. The granny is such a G, man. I'm so sad that she passed away. I want to get to know about her even more, but it is what it is. The granny, she learned sign language and she was signing with Yuzuru and Shoko. And then the mom was all like, don't do that. It's disrespectful. And I'm just all like, why are you gonna be like that? But when the granny died, she left a letter. And Yuzudu, when, well, when Ishida was reading the letter out loud to Yuzudu, what was said is that granny was defending the mother. And we found out in the past that her mother, Shoko and Yuzudu's mother got divorced because of Shoko. The ex-husband and the grandfather, they got mad at the mother because they thought that it was her fault that she was hiding about the specific illness, which was her being deaf, and they did not want a deaf person in their family. And the mother did all that she could to support the children. So I understand her struggle. It's just right now, it feels like she's hit rock bottom and she really has no idea what to do. And she's grabbing at straws to try to help her daughter survive. The specific daughter I'm talking about, you know, Shoko. That's what it looks like. 
So I can understand, I understand a lot more why she acts the way she does. Cause like I said, she's at rock bottom and is grasping at straws. What I was really surprised to see though, was when the mother said to Ishida, thank you for being friends with Yuzuru. I was like, okay, that's a step up for your character. I'm gonna need a little more later on in the future, but, and you're not really a terrible person, like I thought. A very great volume. It progressed a lot of things and a, a lot of the characters developed as well. I cannot wait to see the gang hang out again. And I really hope someone hits Naoka for once because she needs to be hit. She keeps hitting others. Well, you know what? It's, we, 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 gotta, we gotta hit her back. We gotta hit her back. Let's just do it already. Oh my gosh. Not the, not the best advice I know, but honestly, come on. She can't get away with all this. She cannot get away with all of this. This is not cool, man. I'm your female otaku. Sayonara.